Greetings, John Stanley here, and this is a picture that hangs in a very prominent place in our den. We're rearranging the den a little bit, and we've taken the picture down, but it will go back into its very prominent position when we finish. And why do we have this picture of an eagle hanging in such a prominent position in our den where we see it constantly? Simply because this eagle reminds us to wait, to wait, and to hope. And in these days of ours, we're, we're constantly asking that question, when will everything be back to normal? And we wait, and we wait, and we wait some more. And in these days of uncertainty and change, of abiding directives, we stay in our homes. We wear masks. We wear gloves. And yes, we wait. Waiting. Somebody recently asked the question, did you know that an eagle knows when a storm is coming before the storm actually breaks? The eagle will fly up to some high spot and wait. And wait for the storm to come. And when the storm hits, the eagle sets its wings so that the wind will pick it up and lift it above the storm. And while the storm rages below, the eagle is soaring above the storm. The eagle does not try to escape the storm. The eagle doesn't think about and talk about how things used to be. The eagle doesn't gripe about the way things are, but the eagle uses that storm to see the eagle simply, simply uses the storm to lift it higher. Although we're all right now caught in this storm, the storm of the coronavirus, we can all rise above this storm by setting our minds and our belief above the storm. We can rise above it. We can wait and we can hope. And while we wait, we remember those wonderful words of the prophet Isaiah. Those who wait upon the Lord, those who hope in the Lord, shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. We know that the Lord's timing and the Lord's work is perfect. So we give thanks for all that we have while we wait. We are grateful for food. We're grateful for shelter. We're grateful for our homes. We're grateful for our relationships. We're grateful for others. Lauren, Cindy, and I all pray for you. We care for you. I'm sending you a great big virtual hug today, knowing that we pray for you and we miss you. We look forward to seeing your smiling faces, but until then, we give thanks for you. May God be with you until we meet again. May God hold you in the palm of his hands until we meet again. God bless you.